Hey everybody. I wanted to show you my ham radio setup. I acquired my general license about six months ago and this is the equipment that I have. I purchased a pair of Baofeng radios on Amazon for about sixty dollars. And people ask why do people buy Baofeng radios? Well, the reason is they're affordable and they do work. They may not be as reliable and rugged and higher performing as the Yesus or the Icoms or Kenwoods, but if you're on a budget and you're just starting off, this is the way to go. And so, originally, my Balfang radios here were camouflage color, and it was kind of a uh, plasticky hokey color or texture and all that so I decided to paint it and as you can tell did a fairly good job basically it uh, looks pretty good I think now I didn't just use any paint spray paint to do this I used Brownells matte black alumahide epoxy based paint. It's a really tough paint and it will not wear. It'll stick on whatever you're painting and will not come off. And it has a nice texture to it and it's really tough. So that's what I used. And I think it came out fairly well. Of course, I, of course, I covered the uh, Baofeng label and all that stuff and the model number. But I did take it apart. I removed the keypad and all the um, pushers and buttons to make sure uh, I did not spray that black. And so I made sure the fit and finish looked fairly well. And you probably would not notice any flaws because this paint is a really good paint. But in any case, I did replace the antennas. If you notice, I have a BNC connector on here. SMA to BNC. And the reason why is I use this particular one in my car. And I have a magnet mount antenna that I use. I use a tram antenna so you can see uh, visit Ion stuff and you'll see my review on the tram 1185 antenna and so I use this radio in the car I used an SMA to BNC connector for it and acquired a BNC rubber ducky antenna and I use this in my car it's a BNC to SO239 or UHF so when I go in my car I just do that and connect it up this thing is normally attached to the antenna in my car I removed it so I can show you guys so that makes it easy and I use this radio uh, on the go as well so when I get out of the car and if I need a radio I will take this radio and connect up my Nagoya NA701 antenna to it so that works fairly well I also use this battery eliminator in my car basically it uh, replaces the battery but it plugs into the cigarette lighter a socket in your car and this is what I use in the car as well I also use a speaker mic which connects, it has a Kenwood uh, connector here which uh, connects to the side of the radio and the speaker mic. This thing works well, it's cheap. But you do want to get a, uh, you don't want to get too cheap of a speaker mic because a lot of speaker mics, the, or I guess if the really cheap ones, it will not have enough gain on the uh, microphone 
and you'll sound really low, the volume will be really low, um, or you'll sound muffled on the other end, and you'll get feedback from uh, other hams about that. So, But this one works really great. And so that is my ham setup. So thanks for watching Ion Stuff. Have a great day.